What do you think about this story? Lituya Bay, Alaska, July the 9th, 1958. It is uh, over 1,007 foot high wave, the lar largest ever recorded tsunami on Earth, I think. It inundated five square miles of land. So basically, this tsunami, it hit in Alaska, 1,700 feet high. It's outrageous, mate. Right? Mm -hmm. Apparently, there was like fishermen on the uh, lake at the time, and like uh, trying to claim they rode some ridiculously high waves. Surely they all died. No, I think they all died. God, yeah, man, it's just all always shit. Yeah. Like... I don't know if that's true, that second bit. To be it can't be, can it, mate? Right, if it is, what's the video of the wave? If it's That is just outrageous. Huh? What's the video of the wave? What video? Up above. It's, a, it's not a video, it's a screenshot. That ain't the wave though, there's no in there. No, this is a different wave. In uh, It's this area in France. I'm trying to zoom in. Huh? It's this area mm -hmm. in France where um, it just got crazy waves. Oh, there we go. It's got, mad it's got crazy Portugal, waves though. and look, it's crashing right onto the buildings. Yeah, that's in the store. And, and those are all expensive the buildings as well. <clears throat> They're not cheap. Yeah. I mean, th th surely some of their electrics are going to be ruined. The whole house is going to be fucked, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Get a bit of work in there, can you? <laughs> Get work, mate. If you lived around there as like a, I don't know, some like exterior person that does that job, you know what I mean? The quid's in. Because, yeah, yeah, you would. But you'd have to be like, well, paint and decorate yeah? If you do electric, you'd have to move all the fuck yourself. Or you're fucked, just get to fuck your house every time. But, like, just doesn't work. Well, you've, you've had electric shots before, haven't you? 100%, right, yeah. How many, so, the, the, the myth, when people say, oh, if you, you know, if you get an electric shock off the, off the house mains, I've never, be, and it can kill you, I've never believed that. That's not true, is it? Depends on the situation, but yeah, very unlikely. Unless it's like a cooker or a shower, when it has, like, more amps pulled through the circuit, yeah. It might have a better chance of killing you, but like if it's a light switch and you just touch the light, you're just gonna get like electric fence kind of shock, kind mm. of feel about it. I, 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 I was watching it's like a vibration, huh? well, it has. Yeah. There's no question about it. It's not like a shock shock, yeah. It makes you angry a little bit funny, but like, it ain't bad. I, I, I thought I remember you when you were like 16 telling me you had a huge shock at work that day you touched the live wire. Is that true? Oh, I've had a few shocks in my time, mate. To be honest, I, I do remember you telling it. One time when I, I haven't done any, but I haven't had any bad ones. I haven't had any not lost drawn blood or like left a scar. <laughs> no. Right, well, electricity can draw blood. Yeah, fuck me, yeah, mate. If you like, if you're touching the metal frame, or it hasn't been, or it has been earth, and you touch live wire, electricity will come straight in, mate, and it'll burn the bigger, bigger hole on the bit touching the metal on the other side where like extra comes out of your body into the metal frame. It'll fuck you. Is it true that if you like stand, what's the thing people do when you stand and link hands, the electricity can pass through you? Fuck no, yeah, but it does. But I give like everyone not, a little shot. Not a lot. Yeah. That can't be good for your heart, can it? No, no you yeah. have to be, the other people that, whoever's like, if you hold on to electric fence, all the other people have to be like stood on something rubber. where they're not earthed. Yeah, yeah, rubber. Yeah, the ru and then rubber pass through to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah the last person gets the shock. Mm. So I remember Richard Hammond, did you see the old top gear? He sat in a car. And they sent loads of electricity through at some special science centre. And because he was sat in the car and the rubber tyres, he was fine. Mm. But yeah, so like the fairy of cage, isn't it? Yeah. So it's everything in the room got the same potential. It's the same theory of why birds can sit on power lines because they're not touching enough. No because, way. So they can be sitting on like eleven k power line, and that their, their potential will be at eleven k. And if they were, if they're touching Earth, I think no, that'd be so Earth. strong. It'd be like you know the cartoons where all the feathers just come, it's just yeah. bone left. Yeah. It would, it so basically, if you put right. if you climb, climbed up a ladder and grabbed one of the pigeons on the electric you'd cables, dead. you'd get shot. Yeah, because the ladder's touching the floor. Yeah. If you jumped from the ladder and landed on the power line without touching the ladder and the power line at the same time. You would be fine. In, in theory. <laughs> what? In theory, you would be fine. That is bad. But what does, have you ever seen the maintenance on the power lines? They go on helicopters. So they come up to the helicopter and then they like grab the power line with like a bar, and then it brings the helicopter to the same potential as the power line, and then they hop onto the power line and do the work. No it's way. It's fucking mad. No way. Do they. And where do they go? <coughs> in the UK? Yeah, any big power lines. How do they do? How do they, they do jump? They connect. Yeah, they connect the But because they're in a helicopter, oh, so yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. They that can't to... be good for your body, though, can it? That's fine, don't notice that. It's but how fine. much electricity is going through them? Nothing. I, think, I can't remember what the super grid is precisely, but it's, it's over like 11,000 kV. So your body's still experiencing electricity? Yeah, but you're fine. That, I, I, are you fine, though? Yeah, but it's like the act day. How old actually. do these uh, maintenance guys <laughs> live Fuck for? Fuck no, to be honest, I don't actually know. <laughs> but it's like, like a bit of paper. Because it can burn, it can burn at like room temp, uh, 
in the air right now, but it doesn't have the activation energy to set it alight. Once it's got the activation energy, it will just spontaneously combust. Mm. It's the same as like with the electricity. Until you touch the earth, you're fine. Yeah. That is wild. Mm. That's such a that's such a crazy thing. Yeah. Man. Mm. So you have you stared death in the face. I'm not a bad electric It's shot. a dangerous job really, isn't it? Nah, you just get cuts and stuff, but nothing serious. Like you're, you're struggling. The sketchiest shit is when you're on farms, mate. You're there, like going up into a top of a barn, mate. You just stand on the front of a digger with like the tractor hooks and just stand in there as we shit on there and we'll just take you up, mate. You just like no hand really, just stand there doing your legs, <laughs> so, like, ten meters up in the sky. How high? How high? You get like, like, pretty high. Yeah, pretty high, mate. <laughs> ten meters. You know, you're dead, mate. You're, well, you're not dead. Probably break a few bones. Ten you're meters. Down. You don't. That's that's not. You're not really going to be fine. You're going to break your legs. Ten meters. Probably like fall as well. Mm. Fall your head's dead. Do you know um, about the story of the guy that fell through the barn? But he felt he felt his parachute failed, and he landed in a barn or something. I don't. Let me try find this. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Daily Mail on there. Can we trust this? <laughs> I have no idea. If silence sounds slightly better. A British soldier has survived the seemingly impossible uh, after surviving a, Jesus Christ, 15,000 foot fall crashing into the ground after his parachute failed to open. Residents of Vasiello. Uh, uh, in Los Angeles were greeted. He crashed through the roof of a neighbouring house, creating a cartoonish hole as the soldier lay. That can't be good journalism, is it? So cartoonish. <laughs> survive. That is mental. How, but you uh, do survive if you get, it's the, isn't it? If you get knocked out, you're more likely to survive because your body goes limp, limp so you yeah. get tense. Well, that's what they so say. You bounce rather than like. Mm-hmm. So our bodies can take a hell of a whack. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> Fifteen thousand feet is outrageous. That's what they say with the uh, car crashes, isn't it? That sometimes if they fall asleep at the wheel, we had like a someone I knew, a friend, friend of a friend, family friend or something, and he they fell asleep at the wheel of the car, but he was fine. Mm. But we depends did. if the engine comes through the fuck, you mate. Yeah, depends on like crash yeah. well on that. Like the head so, on. Well, that's some top. Driving safety, really. <laughs> if you think you're gonna have a crash, <laughs> fall asleep. Yeah. That is some. They say driving tired kills. Say drive, man. The people that are awake. This, these, you like this? Oh, these are the drones. Yeah, these are the dragon drones. What they all fly in sequence? Yeah, yeah. they like pattern off. That's the man. They do them now in um. Oh, sing- Singapore, they don't, like, on New Year's Eve, they don't fire watch it with drone shows. No way. Mate, they're sick. Drone, drone get, shows? Get them up on YouTube, type dr- in like, Singapore New Year's Eve so so drone clever. show or something on YouTube. Have, have you seen it or have you seen it on YouTube? No, I know, I've seen it on YouTube. Does it not ruin the effect of like, the explosions and the bright right, light? They, look at, they make fireworks look old fashioned, I think. Mate, yeah. You know what, I do know what you're saying, but you it's kind of miss the, the really atmosphere right now as much as anymore. Don't have loud bangs. I never liked the bangs that much. Like, I like a bit of a Mate, bang, but not, not the, too this, much. This, though, like, I what bet they it's do. crazy, though. I haven't seen it before, though. Mate, look at this. These drones. That is a giant mushroom. <laughs> oh, that's a nice jellyfish. That must cost a lot, though. Skilled drivers. Well, are they, they flown by actual humans, or are they, like, computerised? Oh, I don't know. Well, that's the big question. If we have artificial intelligence controlling these drones, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not with that. That is how the world could end. In it, babe. Mate, it's a simple New Year's Eve drone show, mate. You are really into it. <laughs> no, yeah, but in like 50 years' time, or maybe not the world end, but It's a very years simple time, computer program to tell years a drone time, where but, to fly and when to fly to AI artificial but, intelligence. Yeah. Do you think, yeah, That's like the difference between a piece of paper and a fucking Bible. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to think bad actors. If bad actors get these these things in their hands, they want to commit, you know, naughty things. Mate, like you naughty can acts fly... of violence. Yeah, but you could fly a drone, like, remotely from the other side of the world if you really wanted to. Go on, then. Well, you, you can, though. You have to have a drone. You're talking about them getting those. What's the difference between getting the military ones that are actually got guns and stuff? Those are like just light up. 
Imagine getting attacked by those. That'd still suck. It'd be really hard. Or would you rather get attacked by a person or 200 of those with guns on them? Person, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Hey, have you not watched Spider Man? <laughs> Oh shit, yeah, I'm spoiling one. Yeah, I mean, that was a whole fucking. Jokes. What's his name? Mystique and Nerf and all of them. Mystique. Never been seen. Did you right. see what else is in the podcast folder? <laughs> in the podcast? Oh, you gotta edit all this shit out. Yeah, this I mean, mate, you've only got about five minutes to use them. Never mind it being 11 minutes. Most of them are shit. Oh, this is good. I can't see shit. Okay, man. so the biggest ever. Oh, let's turn TV up. The, nah. big, the no, biggest no, no, ever no, 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 no. lottery win in the US, two point four billion dollars. Oh. Look at the place a guy walked in there and won it. Yeah, but you know they have to pay tax on their winnings. Yeah, do yeah. their winnings. Yeah. Yeah. They'll, 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 they'll win over a billion. It'll be like fifty percent. Is it like fifty tax? Is it? It's virtually the same. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge well, you, you pay forty, isn't it? So you... We don't pay tax on lottery winnings. No, we don't on lottery winnings. Yeah. We don't on any like uh, given winnings as well. Like. Nah. You're doing the math, right? If Ben, but, but I'm, still, still, not, I'm still, still not complaining, mate. Yeah, but still, they still win more on their lottery if either build tax, just say for example, I don't actually work out. And they still oh, yeah. win 1.4 billion. We win like, what, 63 or 100 million, like the biggest lottery. Oh, yeah, like yeah, two, 200 huge. million. Yeah. For the it's got, well, I, yeah. They think it's the biggest lottery win in history. Well, one point, well yeah, 2.4 billion is a lot of money. Ben, Ben, you get lucky on your, on your scratch cards, you win the 2.4 billion. What are you buying? Am I buying? Fuck knows a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell, 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 tell you one like, thing, I'm not working. Yeah. <laughs> what am I buying? Wait, what can I buy? Private Island. <coughs> Easy, mate. Private Island. Buy How much five? five? Hmm? You can buy a private island, but you just need no five. You can buy a right? fucking 50 million private island. It's yeah. massive, like. I quite like one of those, like, 50 mil in English country homes with, like, massive estate. Nah, yeah, that'd be nice. Nah, I've won that. Yeah. Well, got the money to, I'd, I'd, rather have a, I'd rather have like a real modern house with just what I'm actually going to use and just a shit ton of land. Yeah, the land. And build like, other stuff, tram, build like barns right. with like a bar in that's just low maintenance. Absolutely. These session, like yeah. old mansion houses <laughs> require so much upkeep. Yeah, yeah I want that. I like an old you house. You have, but... I do prefer an old house to I want a chateau in the south of France. Look at something like this. That is an cool. awful picture, I'm not going to look slow. Oh, that's the brightest on the screen. I don't think it is, I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, look yeah. at it on here. You have to look on here. For, uh, that's that's, that's only 4 million euros. Think how much that would be in the UK. It's lovely, man. Like the outside. Look at that, mate. If you're living there... Mm. look nice. I just have to learn French, though. It's yeah. a problem. Yeah. A lot of them do speak English, though. Harry just wants to go to France to shoot fucking boar. Well, I do. Mm, I have had this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I, like, it's such a problem out there. Mate. You just kill them. <laughs> but they, they are massive. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I'm shoot them, but a lot of people around there do. Like a lot. They so just, you're saying you wouldn't shoot one? Nah. Mm, nah. I don't know, could you? <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. Would no. you? Uh, well, it depends on the situation. Yeah, it depends on the situation. I, okay. I, I've got it in me. So I you're could. really hungry and you're with this chef and he said he can make you like, well, nah, the nah, best I'm wild sausage by dinner time if you do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, no. I wouldn't kill it in that situation. Not if there's other food around. Have to kill a what, what would be the situation when you could kill a boar? I just had to. Like, yeah, life was, if it was, not even life death. If it was, was, was going to attack me and it was me, alright, then yeah, of course. Yeah, or if I was like trapped out yeah. in the wilderness and I had a gun. Yeah. Do you know, do you know how heavy they are? 120k? 200 kilos. I can, yeah, I can well, drag once, that. Once they're dead, mate, I can chop that Bro, up. if you've got something 200 kilos running at you, would be really hard to kill, I think, if you didn't have a weapon. Without a weapon, yeah, you fucked, man. That's why, what, what's so They're going to be quicker than you. Yeah, they're going to be hard and they're, they're going to have Your only option is up a tree. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. Unless yeah, you right. have a weapon. Up if a you have a weapon, you're out, yeah. yeah. All you'd need is a blade. And as yeah. it runs past, just like jump and slice. <laughs> you get fucked up at the same time. I would love to see that. Well, no, not jump, but just. Bang on some random line, you use a pen knife. Ra yeah. Random yeah. shit. The thing, is, the thing is, yeah, it's going to hurt when and it hits you. It's not going to fuck you. So if you like, make sure that it doesn't absolutely annihilate you when it hits you the first time, just stab it and slice it. You'd be alright. I think you need a gun. Yeah, gun would be nice. But you, you could take it with a knife. I don't think you'd have to skill for it. But the problem is, they have tasks. Yeah, and they have these tasks that they could cut you, and, and they're so heavy. Right, I don't know. 
Can you wait? So you're going to stand to the side of it, like one of those I bull fighting guys, but it's going to dance <laughs> out the way and then jump on its back and start. I mean, I could right? take it with a knife, I reckon. No what way. size knife? I'm talking like a decent sized knife, like. With a machete, kind of. Yeah. Thing. Like a. <laughs> nah, like a proper, like, serrated blade, not a machete, like. Mm-hmm. What know. size, um. What size dog do you think you could have in a fight if it's trying to kill you? Oh, and you, you had a to pretty go. small one, mate. Maybe a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the dog situation is a bit of a... You just don't know, do you? Have you seen those dogs that they spring, use Spring to... Spaniel? Yeah, but then, like, you, you actually can have one of them, but then if you go, like, big dogs, you just say... Oh, to be fair, you wouldn't even ch- I wouldn't even check back myself getting a pit bull, you know? No, no, if I had a weapon. It's the truth. Unless, yeah. They're, they're, the they're, thing, like, they're built so heavy, top heavy. Mm. The thing with dogs is they tend to bite and hold on, so if you just give them your arm, except it's going to get fucked up if you had a weapon. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how you win. That's the only way yeah. you win it. So, yeah. sorry, what size, what size dog really do you think you could have, then? I reckon you back yourself. If you can have the ball, with, I reckon you'll fancy it. Alaska. With, 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 with like a, if you had a weapon or something and you did just let it take your arm, I mean, your arm would be like ripped off nearly from some Yeah, but do you, surely the amount of pain you'd be in, you wouldn't be able to do it from the Adrenaline one. would be coming yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, it's like, true. It's true. true. With the fear coming through at the same time, you wouldn't feel that until after. If you like, if, yeah. Like a, do you think you can have a Labrador? Depend, weapon or no weapon. Uh, no, we're just in this room. Boom, you're dropped in this room. What can you grab? I, I think I'd give it a good, If it was life or death, I'd give it a good chance. Hmm. All right, if life or death, yeah, I reckon I've got it. If not, I'm, I'm actually back myself. Yeah, I, right. reck- I, I reckon wouldn't want to. You really I wouldn't, wouldn't want, want to. Because you, you, you'd get messed up. You'd yeah, get messed if up. you get to take your arm, you can just take legs, rip them apart. Like, that's Is that true? Though? Yeah, but if you have to you break it, you have to do the back legs. Any legs, front legs. Front <laughs> the legs. front legs, if you're close to... Their well, faces you your arm, you. You. But then I feel like I could just pick a up front around as well, so I, feel, I do have the manhandle of a dog. Kinky. Kinky, yeah. Well, I like if dogs are around me, I'll just pick up the table and whack it. Yeah, you got all, got, all you've got to do is grab the back of its neck and just rip it up. It's virtually helpless then. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, I do back myself against I mean, it's hard. It's an hard Alsatian, though. No way an Alsatian. Alsatians are strong. <coughs> like the situation police again. use them. The police use them. Like, mm. those trained dogs. Have you seen the Sh- dogs they use in Siberia? To, um, like, when they're rehabilitating wolves... They don't want the humans to have contact with them, so they train these dogs to like be the alphas of the packs and stuff. These dogs which dominate the wolves. They dominate the wolves. Yeah, it's scary. What, I can't remember what they're called. What, what do they, are they guard shepherd dogs though? Guard I'll see dogs. if I can find the video. What's it called? What's the name of them? Yeah, I can't remember. That's what I said. I can't remember. Oh uh, yeah. That, I know, I know you get the uh, Turkish Turkish guard dogs. When I when I was in Namibia, we went to this place when they had these dogs. And they used to guard the sheep, but these dogs, they, they never let them taste, like, look, these certain meats in case they ate them. But they were some fucking lions. Oh, uh, yeah, what, the dogs were there for hunting lions? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that on a Ricky, um, the Jay set, I can't remember who it was, but a comedian did a set about it, and it was like, did four different dogs, like, Labrador being stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's just like, this dog is like, what's your job? He's like, Terry, is it? you're going to go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just and the, the normal sized dog, yeah, you're gonna fight lions. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> that is ridiculous how you have these so, so yeah, so if you had one of those, just as your dog, when you're walking around, that is serious protection. Yeah. It's like a it's like a budget bodyguard, really. It's probably better than a bodyguard. Yeah. Higher maintenance than a bodyguard. Probably, hard, probably cheaper. Probably harder to direct as well. No, no, when you train a dog right, you'll do it before you want. The the most loyal animal there is. True. No, it's true. How is your, have you got a dog at the minute? I have a dog. I've got a dog. I personally don't have a dog at the minute. They're not on space with a dog all the time. I, I do miss the, the, the dogs, the family mm. dog. In mm. case you're out walking as well, mm-hmm. it does get, it's a very cliche thing to say, but. Yeah, a family dog, a lovely dog. It does, does get you out walking. Yeah, you know, I, I really don't have a dog at the minute either. You've been out really walks or anything recently? Well, I can make most time in the minute. That's it. Mm. What about in the summer? Do you go to in the summer? Summer, I, did, I can't remember what I did in the summer, mate. I remember drank a lot, but I can't remember where or where <laughs> or what I was doing, drinking. Yeah, I sent you two videos of that on Messenger. Yeah, those weeks where you sent it on Messenger, did you? Yeah. You were just drinking a lot. Yeah. Messenger. Messenger. Drinking. Facebook Messenger, not WhatsApp. Look, why why are the countries on people all use Facebook Messenger? What do you use? Snapchat. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. And, and the whole world uses WhatsApp. I use WhatsApp for work, mainly. Yeah. Okay, so what's this dog called? It's a better Mastiff. Tibetan mast, I think I've heard of these. Well, that's oh sh- my word! Turn the volume. Oh, actually, I have seen these dogs. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my Let me put the brightness up on this, pause yeah. it a second. That thing is huge. I forgot you're looking at terrible. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. He's done it. Put them back to the beginning. <laughs> are those actual walls? Or are they just yeah. like those hustles? No, they are walls. And the train to walls. They look like walls. And then I sent you another one as well. Oh, my God. They're massive, mate. That is outrageous. Look at the other one I sent you. Yeah, I'll bring it up now. Not on there. That's on. Oh, it's Facebook. I'm sure it came in heavy. Yeah, that was wow. ridiculous. That's the same move. One. I can scare the point, mate. Still the same one. No, I, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, wait. Oh, should we pause the podcast for a bit? Yeah, if you want to.